Hearts today. NVIDIA's next GPU leaks. AMD did something terrible. AMD announced pricing and release date for their Ryzen 7000 X 3D parts, and NVIDIA's 4090 Ti and Titan GPUs get confirmed. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, with the 4070 Ti recently released, NVIDIA is apparently very close to their next launch, which may end up being the 4070 non-Ti model. In a new tweet from a Tech Power Up database editor, Matthew Smith, apparently stumbled on some validation data that gives us not only clocks for the reference RTX 4070, but even a factory overclocked variant. And that means that NVIDIA is so far in development that third-party overclock cards are being tested. So the 4070 is likely set to be released very soon. Soon. Either way, according to the tweet, the reference 4070 has a base clock of 1920 MHz and a boost of 2475. As far as the overclock variant, the one they have is from Colorful with their Ultra WOC line, and according to this, it got a boost of 2505 MHz, so we're talking 30 MHz over the reference model. Not exactly great, but I guess not the worst. When compared to the 4070 Ti, these clocks are pretty disappointing, I will say, but obviously we'll have to see how AMD's mid-range cards stack up. Next up for today, with the pandemic coming to an end, along with the massive crypto crash, the PC hardware market is in a pretty bad place, and AMD recently admitted to doing something pretty messed up. But before I get to that, if you haven't noticed, AI is taking over. From chatbots that can do your homework to AI image generators. Basically, we might as well surrender now to our future AI overlords, or you can learn to control them with today's sponsor. Brilliant! The best place to learn things like neural networks, which are the things that power artificial intelligence. In fact, Brilliant was built from the ground up to teach STEM, which includes math, science, and computer science. But the best part is how they teach you, which is by actually having you do it yourself. And really, that's the philosophy Brilliant is built on. See, they use interactive puzzles to teach you really difficult concepts rather than just having you memorize stuff. So you actually learn the concepts and then build on them. And really, it makes learning fun. But don't just listen to me. Try Brilliant for free when you visit Brilliant Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt, and the first 200 of you who sign up will get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt, so check them out today. Now back to the story, during AMD's Q4 earnings call, Lisa Su actually admits to undershipping both GPUs and CPUs. Quote, we have been undershipping the sell-through or consumption for the last two quarters. We undershipped in Q3, we undershipped in Q4, we will undership to a lesser extent in Q1. So yeah, AMD's CEO just admitted that they're intentionally shipping fewer products than what is needed. The reason for this is simple, to keep prices higher. Now, that can be a bit of a double-edged sword. See, if they manufacture more GPUs, prices would go down, but they would sell more. So keeping the prices higher only works if you get enough profit to make up for the lower volume of sales. And it can backfire, because if Nvidia decides to produce more, they could lower prices by a good bit and beat AMD out. Regardless, this is apparently what AMD is doing, and it's pretty crummy. Sure, I will say that AMD had a tough time maintaining profitability, but we had to deal with insane prices for years already thanks to the shortages for miners and the pandemic. Since demand is down, they're undershipping parts? Not cool. Next up, AMD officially announced pricing and release date for their upcoming Ryzen 7000 X 3D parts. In a new video published today from the company, AMD discusses their new monster CPUs. And starting things off, we have pricing. Their Ryzen 7 7800 X 3D CPU launches for $449. And of course, that's around $100 more than their 7700 X part is selling for right now. So it is a bit of an increase. But remember that AMD's 5800 X 3D is still a fantastic gaming CPU, yet the 7800X3D looks to crush it. Moving on to the 12-core, 24-thread 7900X3D, AMD is charging $599. Here, things get pretty expensive, especially if you plan to do other things besides gaming with this. I mean, you can get the 16-core 7950X for that, but I guess we'll have to see how much performance you can get out of the X3D part, as AMD hasn't shared any performance numbers on this just yet. Finally, we have the 7950X3D, which is set to be the monster gaming CPU we saw at CES, and it comes in at $699, so the same starting price as Intel's 13,900KS, though Intel's pricing is more for customers who buy a thousand or more units, so not the MSRP. 
Still, they would be very close. And of course, the 7950X3D would end up being a great all-around CPU for both gaming and professional workloads. Plus, this looks to get much better performance over the 13900K than Intel's KS model. Luckily, we won't have to wait long to find out, as AMD is set to release the 7900X3D and 7950X3D on February 28th, with the 7800X3D releasing on April 6th. And lastly for today, they're finally confirmed, NVIDIA's long-rumored monster GPU along with the 4090 Ti. First up, in a tweet from the same Tech Power Up database editor that I mentioned earlier, he claims that NVIDIA is testing both the 4090 Ti and Titan GPU, with the 4090 Ti coming with 24GB of VRAM and the Titan getting 48. Not only that, but he claims that the Titan is getting the same clocks as the 4090. But the news doesn't stop there. According to a new report, NVIDIA's next-gen Titan GPU was spotted on a shipping manifest. As you can see here, it lists a PG-137 GPU. And going back, remember that Copai 7 Kimi originally claimed that the Beast would be built on the PG-137 GPU and that it comes with 48 gigabytes of memory. Fast forward to just a few days ago and we got a look at a gold GPU that mentions PG-137. Basically, this should be NVIDIA's Titan Card. And when we look back at the shipping manifest, we can see that this SKU comes with 48 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, one difference is that this lists it as GDDR6. So Nvidia may not be going with GDDR6X like the original rumor mentioned. Of course, given how long ago that was, Nvidia could have easily changed it since then. That, or it could be a separate variant with the PG-137 GPU. Because as you can see, there are actually two SKUs here: the SKU 0 and SKU 330. So there could easily be a a couple variants. Either way, this essentially confirms the monster GPU we heard about so long ago. And get this, NVIDIA is apparently shipping these engineering boards to development centers all over the world, meaning the company is in a pretty advanced stage of development. Hopefully these cards do release and soon, but at least we know NVIDIA is definitely working on them. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for NVIDIA's upcoming Ryzen 7000 X3D parts? Or are you ready for a more powerful NVIDIA GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!